Hey everyone! Well, it has been a while since I've made kind of a traditional video like this, hasn't it? And in this video, I'm going to start a brand new series. God, that was a shitty intro. I'm all over the place. Let's not go to online. This is the worst start to any series ever. Uh, first things first, I haven't made, again, a traditional edited sit-down video in... God, I don't even know how long. Second of all, I haven't played Tekken in God knows how long. So this is Tekken, this is Tekken 7. Specifically, this is Tekken 7 Season 3. Now here is the thing. You guys know that I used to play Tekken uh, on the channel and all that. I was learning the game. And as time went along, I kind of stopped playing. Just because of the complexity of the game, I'm going to be honest with you. It always felt like you needed to put so much effort into this game. And, you know, I was just playing other stuff, you know, doing streaming and all that. But, you know, I've always been interested. I've always been watching Tekken. Uh, I stuck around with all the tournaments, you know, watching Avoiding the Puddle, all that shit. So I thought that with Season 3 coming out, it is time to really get into this game. I mean, this game is huge right now, so no reason not to get into it. Even if I suck, even if I don't know how to do a lot of things, I'm like, you know what, let's get in here, let's play some Tekken, let's try learning some new things. And yeah, just start season 3 fresh with a new character, Julia. So I picked up Julia, definitely looking like waifu material. Uh, I like this character. I, I've seen her gameplay and she kind of falls into this, from what I've seen, kind of the same category as like Lee Wulong and like Eddie and all that. She's like really mix-up heavy, you know, kind of focusing on trickery. I don't know how good she is, honestly. With Tekken, the tier list doesn't really matter too much, as you can see. I've literally not played her. I've picked her up, but I've not played her. So let's go ahead and take a look at this training mode. So this series, if you don't know, what it's going to be is basically me learning Tekken. I'm going to be, you know, either focusing on online matches or focusing on some tech. I'm going to be following, I mean, kind of looking at guides off screen and then kind of going to try learning... Uh, what these guides are teaching me so yeah hopefully I can play I can make some videos you know improve play some online maybe eventually stream the game yeah let's get into it I'm excited uh, this first episode is just gonna be kind of an introduction to the series but this is what I wanted to check out the they added these preset costumes and apparently some of these are fucking ridiculous from what I've heard I've heard that Gigas has some which are absolute... <laughs> yes. Holy shit. Maybe I should play Gigas instead. What the hell is... He's like the Iron Golem or something. But this is... Is he the wall from Spider-Man? Oh shit. If you hear like some weirdness in my voice, I'm still kind of sick. I'm still kind of weathering the tail end of a cold. I've basically had this exact costume designed for her anyways. So let's see told you. See, I know how this game is thinking, I know how these devs are thinking, whatever, let's go with standard Julia, let's beat up on Jack, because he's a fucking robot, we can beat up on Jack, let's go random, on oh, this fucking devil's pit, whatever, it doesn't matter, yeah, let's get into this, I should have picked an infinite stage, now that I think about it, doesn't matter, I mean, the wall stuff is important as well, so, yeah, I've literally not touched Julia. Don't even think about that. But, yeah, she's like anti-deforestation. She's all about reforestation. And she's gonna kick your ass, too. Alright, let's get into this. So, yeah, this... I gotta get a feeling for Tekken movement again. Uh, look, this Korean backdash is... I have no idea how to do them. Like, I get the motion. I've watched many videos on it. Like, you do a back dash, you go to down back, and then you can apparently just do this crazy shit. But I've never been able to, like, uh, consistently do it. Oh, well. That's another thing to, do, to learn. I can't even talk. Uh, probably gotta spend, like, three hours in here just trying to do the Korean back dash. I don't know. It's crazy. 
Uh, the other thing, damn, tech and sidestepping. I always forget that with the sidestep in this game, you just gotta like do a quick flick. I tend to like accidentally hold it too long and do a crouch or do a jump. Whereas, you know, like you, this is what you really want. You can sidewalk as well, which I forgot how to do. Oh, that's how you, yeah, yeah, that's when you do a double, like you're dashing. All right, that's me readjusting to Tekken's movement. Let's look at Julia, starting with her Rage Art and Rage Drive. We, we gotta check those out first. Damn. She's kick-ass. Holy shit. Oh, she's, she's doing the Lucky Chloe thing. I didn't know she did that. Okay. And then there's this. That was her Rage Drive. Holy shit. Wait. What was it again? Okay, okay. Jesus, that sends them far. You can probably do like hella, like basically whatever after doing this. Actually, full screen not so much, but like in this situation... Oh yeah, she, she does hella damage. There's another thing about this character I've heard that she does hella damage. Alright, so I've checked a couple of things you should do with her. Obviously, off screen, I'm gonna go deeper into what she can do. Apparently, she has this stance. Uh, two versions of it. She can go uh, left and she can go right. And she has like four things she can do out of this. I think this is the one that I see the most. A mid. But this is another stance, isn't it? To me, it seems like she can... She can follow something from there. Oh no, maybe not. So yeah, she... Is that what a wind roll is? Left, right combo to wind roll. Okay, I have to check it out. Because I seem to remember that being called something different. But yeah. This is apparently her main punish string. Because she has like 1-1-1. One, 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 but it doesn't work. She has like... She, yeah, she has this as well. It's like 1-2-1. One, one, and 1-2-1-1-1. One, 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 and it doesn't work. So you might as well go into the stance and do something. This is, again, this is a mix-up character. Like, I've heard that Julia is basically party all the time, you know? So, yeah, that's the thing. You just gotta get used to it. War drum. I gotta check it out just for the name. Uh, what does this look like? Jesus. How do you... I still don't know how to do those. Oh, it's 4-2. That's why she was not coming out. I've n I, I knew I, I've knew I knew I've done moves like that before. God, if if I'm slamming the stick too hard, yeah, that's what she said. Uh, I apologize. I know some people find it annoying. Oh, she has like combos out of that. I knew it. I knew she could follow up from something. Okay, and don't tell me this is a natural combo. It looks like a natural combo. So yeah, again, sorry if you find the stick annoying. Some people do, some people don't. I kind of like the sound of it. Uh, I don't slam it. Holy shit. Okay, so this is what she is all about, right? Because she can go like... Yeah, she can go crazy. Oh, this is such an online character too. Shit, you just gotta get the timing right. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm gonna be partying with her all day. Let me tell you that. Because... Well, you know how it is. You know how it is, like, with this type of character. You just, like, really gotta let go and go crazy. So, yeah, aside from me getting distracted by her stance... That's crazy. I wonder if she can follow follow it with something. What's her like running attack? There's a way. I I, I used to remember how to do running attacks quickly. Uh, there is a way. Yeah, because apparently that's one of her crazy good moves. The the while running too. And there's a way to like instantly do while running moves. And I don't remember how. So yeah. But aside from the fact, this move is apparently key for her. She has like three of these elbow moves. That's one. 
that's the other one. This is apparently also our key move, the uh, forward forward one. You can just kind of like spam this. It's really quick apparently. It like uh, counter hits or like trades with everything. And it has like a follow up to it if you do the four after. Uh, she does this like big kick, which I think is duckable. But the real trick is if you do it quickly, it's a natural combo. And if you do it slowly, the idea is that the opponent will think that you just did this and then you can go kick this bitch in the face. I'll try doing a key charge and I think if we... Yeah, as you can see, that counter hits into something. What? I don't know. That's what we're gonna have to figure out. Holy shit. That's what I wanted to see. I saw boulder charge, I was like, I gotta see what this is. Oh, and it does this new thing. Yeah, this is how long I've not played Tekken. That this, this wall bounce that happens, this is new to me. Uh, so yeah, I haven't played actually since season one, now that I think about it. So she has that, and she has some crazy fucking move. Where is it? Man, Tekken with their huge move lists. Party Crasher, that's the thing I was doing. Uh, and Elbow Skyscraper Kick. Oh, speaking of, she also has it as a separate move. Uh, apparently this is really good as well. You gotta like... God damn. Yeah, apparently you can follow up with something. So, the this is it. And this is the thing I kind of always shine on this game for. And I'm always gonna shine on this game for. Like, this game gives you nothing. If you're a new player, this game says basically, what, you're a new player? Well then fuck right off, figure it out, bitch. So, you know, in terms of user friendliness for fighting games, uh, Tekken is not at the top of the list. That can't be it. Uh, Cause like this, again, I don't remember what this notation is. With, to me this suggests like, rapid tapping as in was that it i think that's it you just gotta be quick what does this move look like but what it has like another kick though i mean punch did i do it do you just gotta be like really quick i feel like i'm doing some other move huh because this is the second, like, no, no, it's not. She does like a ch shoulder charge. But the, how the fuck do you do this? So yeah, that's the thing about Tekken. Uh, it's like very not handholdy. Maybe a little bit too much not handholdy. I mean, yeah, it's okay to have a tutorial, guys, you know. And it's kind of a shame that they never added anything like that into this game because... If there's ever a game that could benefit from that, it's this one. Uh, I, I literally don't know how to do that. Do you hold it there? No, you don't hold it there. Because I think what I'm getting is, I'm getting her... She has a like quarter circle forward moves. Yeah, like this. I think I'm getting one of these. This is a problem. I don't know how to do one of her key moves. Apparently that's a key move. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Still, this character is super fun. And I didn't mean for this to be like some... Uh, oh, yeah, she also has, I think... What was the move? I think forward... Oh, no, not forward. Down forward. Yeah, this is one of her like key combo moves. I think what you generally want to do with this character is something like this. Unless I drop it and then into something. So, yeah, that's the general idea. She has combos. She also has a while rising. And I think that's the best thing you can do out of it. Yeah, she probably has more damaging follow ups. But just to kind of demonstrate, again, I've looked into this. I just need to really sit down and practice her move list and this move. Not that move. Because I think. That's just some launcher, but yeah, I don't know. Tekken notation. If any of you know, let me know because I will appreciate the help. Uh, yeah, that's kind of 
Man, this was a shitty ass introduction. But this is the introduction to the Mr. Sketchhead Learns Tekken 7 series again, because I've played Tekken 7 before, but I feel like I really gotta start from the ground up. This was just me getting a feel for Julia, uh, introducing the series, kind of talking generally about what this series is gonna entail. Again, there will be online matches, there will be more kind of lab stuff once I kind of get down on specific techniques, like Korean backdashing, which as you can see, I'm an expert at. You ain't never seen professional Korean backdashing as well. Never seen Korean backdashing as professional as mine. English grammar, we got it. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Tekken 7. I know this is Tekken 7 Reloaded, by the way. Uh, I know this was not like a content-heavy episode, but again, it's just setting up stuff. I'm liking this character. I will definitely be playing her. Because I made like shitty characters like Noctis before, but I dropped his ass quicker than you can say, I don't know, Final Fantasy XIV. Because Noctis... Who wants to play Noctis when you have Julia? No one. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. And see you next time. Goodbye.